Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have update number three for my Pan That palette and my Finish 16 in 2016. So I have made a lot of progress on most of my products. I haven't finished anything outright, but a lot of things are close, so that's exciting. Uh, first, let's go ahead and go into the palette. Um, I will have progress photos at the very end of this video for my Pan That palette as well as some other like powder products that I can't measure the progress on. So here is where I'm at right now. As you can see, I hit pan on these two shades. This is Sugar and Buff. Very proud about that. Um, I'm getting close on Mink, and I do have some dips going in Fawn, Barefoot, and Dolce. And I do have a bigger dip in Kitten, the highlight. I wear that as a face highlight every day that I wear makeup. So that's going along pretty well. So there's my palette. Let's go into Finish 16 in 2016. The first items I'm going to show you are the items that I don't have progress on at all or no visible progress. And then we'll get more into the other stuff. So firstly is my trio of nail polishes. I don't have any visible progress on any of these three. Um, as I've said previously, I have a job where I'm not allowed to wear nail polish, which is annoying. Um, I'm working in a grocery store and they say that um, there are certain departments that aren't supposed to wear nail polish, so they didn't want anybody to wear nail polish. Which doesn't make any sense because if you're handling food, you're going to be wearing gloves. So it's like telling someone to shave their head and still wear a hairnet. Um, I don't know. So these don't have much progress at all. Nothing discernible for me to mark, I don't believe. So, sad. I'm, I'm still holding out the possibility that I would be able to use these up by the end of the year, which is why I haven't swapped them out for another product. Next was the um, Balea Charcoal Nose Strips. I had five at my last update and I still have five. I did use a nose strip this month, but it wasn't from this box. Um, in addition to working on this project, I am also doing reviews for a website called skin18.com. And so I tested out one of their charcoal, or I tested out one of their nose strips this month and I haven't needed to use another one. So this hasn't gotten touched, but um, in the summertime, I'm going to be reaching for these more often. My skin gets more oily, my pores get more clogged, so I still have no doubts that these are going to be finished up by the end of the year. The next thing is this NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Pops. Um, I haven't been reaching for this a lot because when I go to work, I prefer a more matte formula that'll last me from the time that I go in to my lunch break and then I can touch it up after I eat and it'll be good for the rest of my shift. So I just haven't been wearing it very much. Um, I'm still at the same spot as last month. I do have a little bit of it on today and then I topped it with another lighter color in the center. but. Um, We'll see how this goes. <laughs> the next thing that I can't mark progress on is my foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, the, at the last update, I was right at this line where the black starts, and when I squeeze it up, I can see, like it takes forever for me to be able to squeeze it up and see product up here. So I am more than halfway through this little black section, and I have no doubts that I can finish this up by the next update. The next thing that I'm not marking progress on is my L'Oreal Infallible Spray. This is empty. I do have the rest in my Urban Decay sprayer because the spray is finer. I might have one or two applications left and then it'll be done, so that's great. My next item here is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. I don't reach for this often because when I go to work I do a lighter eye look, um, but that's where I am right now. I do have this on today. Um, maybe we'll see some progress in the progress photos. I don't know. The next item in my project is this trio from Wet n Wild called Knock on Wood. And if you saw my Get Ready With Me, 
um, you will see that I hit pan on that latest brow bone shade, which is awesome. Um, I haven't been reaching for this super often, but especially come the fall time, I'm going to see a lot more progress with this. Um, it's just a little too dark for me to wear at work right now. The next thing I've been making good progress on is this Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Pressed Powder in Translucent. I finished up the other powder that I was working on, the Rimmel Stay Matte, and so this is the only powder that I'm using, and I do see a significant dip in there. Um, however, this is a fairly deep pan, so we'll see how long this takes. I'm really confident that I can at least get through this by the end of the year, if not sooner. Next, I have my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. I use this every day that I put on makeup. There are significant dips in both of the shades. I think that the darker one is going faster because I do use that, um, that shade more. Um, I use it in the tail all the way up to about, I use it in about two thirds of my brow. And then the lighter color goes more in the front, in the front like one third. Um, as I've said before, I'm not focused on the wax, I don't care for it. I'm just using up these two powders. Next is my Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. I have the marks here. I'm doing this as best as I can um, because this packaging is very opaque, so I've been like squeezing and trying to feel where the product is, and I'm pretty sure it's right around here. The next thing I have is my Lipsol Lip Balm. So I can never get this right. This is how much I have left. And there we are. So not as much progress as last month. Um, but I always I apply this at least once or twice a day, so I'm not sure why it's taking me so long. Next is my mask. This is Lumine's Matte Touch Deep Cleansing Peat Mask. And I think I've used this twice since my last update. Um, I'm trying to like squeeze out the air and I think that my best approximation is at this mark here. There is an air bubble in here and there is a little bit of product caught up here, but when I get down to where I can't squeeze anymore out, I'm sure I'll cut it open and get the rest out. Then we have my micellar water. This is from Marcel. So this is where I was last month and here's where I am this month. I use this pretty much every morning to cleanse my face and I also use this whenever I use a makeup wipe because I'm still using up these Yes to Cucumber wipes that are kind of dried out because I've had them a long time. So I use the micellar water to add extra moisture to those wipes when I take off my makeup. So this will definitely be done in the next probably two weeks. and. It'll be finished in my next update. Then I have my Mario Badescu facial spray. So this was last month, this is this month. I think that I can get through this in maybe two updates. Um, not as much progress as last month, but I do use this at least once a day. Then I have this Liz Earl Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. So this was last month and this is this month. Um, I'm pretty sure I can power through this and finish it up by the next update. And finally, I have my hair product. This is from Nexus. It's the Youth Renewal Rejuvenating Elixir. So I was here last month, I'm here this month, and I believe that I can finish this up definitely by the next update. Um, I'm having to like tilt the bottle because this is a dropper, and I don't think it, it reaches all the way down, so I'll have to tilt it scoop up the product product and I use two dropper fulls um, every time that I use this it's just that I am alternating between this and a leave-in conditioning spray I'm trying to use up this one from number four that is just super fragranced and I need to force myself to use it so that's why I haven't finished this off completely so that was everything for my Finish 16 in 2016, as well as my Pan That Palette. Stay tuned for those progress photos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!